but he's absolutely, you know, able to win this entire division against the number one seed Fabrizio Andre. So this is a match we can see at the finals anywhere, and we're seeing it here in the quarterfinals. So one of these gentlemen will not medal. We see the big power up from Andre and a big step forward from the guy. And the intensity, I feel like I could just feel it from here, and I'm way far away from them. Naturally, Samuel the guy sits, gets a big sweep right off the bat. Right wow. on top with two points of Samuel Nagai. And a big sweep right back from Fabricio Andre. All right. I love the way Fabricio Andre breaks grips. He, like, does not allow people to touch him. I swear you can hear the grip breaks from far away. It's like pops him off as loud as he can. If that start is any indication of what this match is going to be like, we have quite the match ahead of ourselves. Briso Andre rocking his signature side to side movement, high energy, high intensity. Again, big grip breaks. Something so powerful for a passer when you can break grips like that. And as the person on bottom, it, it really like, it can be very frustrating. It hurts your feelings. You're like, oh my gosh, I cannot make my grips. I cannot make my guard. It can make you feel really panicked if you're not exactly sure where to put your hand out of the grip break comes. So for Risa Andre, I think overwhelms a lot of people with that. Feels like there's already been a lot of action. Only a minute and 30 seconds have transpired in this match. At the very beginning of the match is pretty much just two sweep exchanges. Just goes to show the nature of these two competitors. If there is an opening, they're going to take it. an interesting slowdown here uh, for these guys. Still plenty of hopping technically, but it, I think you can feel the respect a little bit between the two athletes. It's like, there's a lot going on, and there's a lot to be respected here uh, on top and bottom, but Andre, you know, keeps his top position, comes up to pass, and the guy knocks him right back down. Big stomp pass for a leg drag here by Fabrizio, Fabrizio Andre. Same in a guy forced to bring his left knee back inside, now back in the guard. Oh, seemingly oh, going in a neighbor and almost coming up for a sweep. Wow, big roll through and a disengagement right off the bounds, or right at the out of bounds line. Both competitors just seem so excited too. Yes. Like there's there's an energy about these two competitors that's contagious. Like I'm mm -hmm. sitting, I had to sit down to commentate because <laughs> I know that I'm just gonna start jumping around. <laughs> they they really do exude an exciting energy. This is I feel like this is what high level jiu-jitsu is all about. This is what high level athletics are all about. You see on the uh, mat right next to them. Though we are not commentating it, is uh, the other quarterfinal match between Tiago, Diego, or Tiago Macedo and Diego Sodre. Winner will move on, I believe, to fight the winner of these two. Yeah, there's some crazy matches going on right now. We also have in the uh, lightweight female black belt semifinals, we on mat three, we have Fionn Davies versus Margot Cicerelli, which is a huge, huge match. So we have uh, Jaime Canudo going right now as well. A lot of incredible matches today. But these two athletes are some of the scariest in the building for sure. And we are still tied up 2-2, so we had a quick sweep. If you guys are just joining us in, we had a quick sweep by Nagai. He pulled, swept, Andre swept him right back. And then, you know, since then, it's been a, a little bit of a battle here. 
And Andre has that ability, again, to break grips and quickly start to pass. But Nagai seems to have an answer for every single um, angle that Andre tries to find. He almost knocked him down a couple of times on a sweep. Not quite in a way to come up and get an advantage, but just to knock him down to a double-seated position. We've seen that a few times. And he does a great job with his left foot on the spider, so it just kind of extends Andre out. He's not really able to... If he stands up, he's at risk for getting swept. If he comes onto his knees, he's at another risk. But he looks very calm, right? He's very comfortable here. The result of the match right next to this one, Diego Saldre versus Thiago Macedo, ended in a disqualification victory for Diego Saldre. So waiting in the wings for tomorrow and punching their tickets tomorrow. All is that's... that Thiago is, right? Thiago Ti Macedo? Thiago Macedo is on not. To the semis. Diego Sodre is going to move on to the semis. Oh, I'm sorry. Diego Sodre moves on to the semis, but he will face uh, the winner of Daniel Myra and Ismael de Santos Lima, who we were talking about earlier. So the, the winner of Fabricio Andre and the guy is going to go against, uh, is going to go against Isaac Gordue. But halfway through this match, definitely de uh, decidingly slow. I feel like uh, it's one of those things where even both competitors, like you had said earlier in the match, Kendall, earlier in this match, you mentioned that the both competitors, it seems like they started out with almost a lack of respect for each other, and then they found out very quickly, oh, I, need mm. to, I definitely need to respect the game I'm going against right now. Yeah, I agree. That may be the reason for the slower pace that we're seeing. Sam look, looking like he may want to throw, you see him right there with the lasso, maybe throwing a, a De La Hiva lasso, it looks like, to potentially sweep to his right. Oh. We almost saw a little bit of a come up there for Sam Nagai, um, off to pull right back into the guard. He, didn't really have a grip on the lower body of Fabrice Andre, so it'd be hard to finish those, finish those sweeps without a grip on the ankle or a grip on the, the pant grip. Now we see oh, big pass from Fabrizio. Wow, look at that rollover from uh, the guy. How creative, but almost Fabricio getting Andre. side control. Man, what a big pass is him from, from Fabrizio Andre. It was so persistent the entire time. Samuel having to do some acrobatics to stop yes. the pass. And we just saw one of the side judges come up for an advantage for Andre for the pass. But we'll see if he gets a ward, and he does. He gets an advantage here for his pass attempts. So a tight, tight lead for Fabrizio Andre with three and a half minutes left. Oh, now Sam and a guy coming up for a sweep. He puts himself in a really tough spot to maintain the sweep, though. And he finds himself on his back once again, still down by an advantage. Tough spot to be. Extension from the guy here. His left leg's all the way extended, and he does knock Andre down. Interesting how he keeps that De La Hiva hook in with his right knee pointed inside to keep tilting Andre over. Andre just about able to step his right foot up to the ground to keep some uh, strong base, but the guy kicks it out again. And it's so close, right on the edge of the mat. This match is so tight. An almost sweep will give Sammy a guy at least a tie. And it's hard to say who's winning the match other than the big pass attempt that Fabrizio Andre had earlier. Yeah, despite the acrobatics there from the guy, uh, was still able to get close enough to side control to give him the score from the advantage. But with 2.20 left, I mean, this is plenty of time for the guy to get something going. It's still definitely anybody's match.
The guy, have, oh, he breaks the grip and immediately is met with a guard pass attempt. That's the dangerous thing about breaking Felipe, Fabricio Andre's grips is he always has a plan right off of your grip mm -hmm. break. Yeah, absolutely. But a moment of respect there. It seems like Sam and the guy really tried to kick that grip off. Just seemed like he apologized. It's always good to see a little bit of good old sportsmanship. Sam and the guy really exhausting the options here. Now looking for a possible tilt sweep over to the right side. You see him really pressing for it. One minute and eight seconds left in the match. Yeah, this could absolutely be enough to get at least an advantage here for the sweep. Oh, my goodness. He might knock him over, but that arm, that left pose from Fabrizio Andre really saving him here, and there will not be an advantage awarded, but a big pass attempt again here from Andre. Same the guy let go of that arm, and seemed like that was going to be the thing that got the sweep for him, but now... Potential wrestle up here, and back into a big off balance. He's switching back and forth between so many sweep options. Is it going to be enough to put... Fabrice Andre's back on the mat. That's what we would need. We need his back on the mat. And we, what we would really need is this, which is the guy coming up to sort of finish oh the sweep. Oh, my goodness. And this is most likely going to be enough for an advantage. Let's see if he can get the two. Will he be able to get the two points here? He's come up with both legs. 18 seconds left, Kendall. This is such a pivotal moment wow. in the match for Samuel Nagai. 15 seconds. If he can put him all the way down, he's going to get the two. But either way, he is going to get an advantage here, which he already did, which could potentially push us to a rough decision if he doesn't get him all the way to the mat. We can barely see the athletes. Everybody in this crowd is on their feet. And with zero seconds left, and it's going to go to a ref's decision. Sammy Nagai is almost certain that he is the one who took the victory. But it is anyone's match, Kendall. It's anyone's match. Yeah, Fabrizio Andre had those big pass attempts. And then we had that giant sweep almost finished by the guy there at the end. He's going to go to a best two out of three refs decision here. It is a split decision for Sam Nagai. And it's Sam Nagai moving on to the next round. He goes on to tomorrow. He's in the semifinals. The last effort did it, Kendall. Wow, taking the out last, the number one seed. The last ditch effort by Sam Nagai lands him a spot in the semifinals tomorrow. Look at the excitement. Taking out the number one seed. That is incredible. Fabrizio Andre, 2021 world champion. Sam Nagai hasn't, we haven't seen him on the scene in a little bit. And here he is nodding his head as he walks into tomorrow to face Isaac Doderlin in the semifinals. Insane. Ooh. Look at this. This is the end of the match. Comes back on the left. Gets up with both grips. Cro his arms are crossed. Uncrosses the legs of Fabrizio Andre. And this is where he grabs the right hand, pulls, and gets the advantage. Damian Arande, the referee, putting his hand up for the advantage. Securing his spot in the last 10 seconds of the match to make it to tomorrow.